The arts are so important in our community and Footlighters has really added to the depth of the fabric of our community. So exciting that there are opportunities right here in community theater for our kids and our adults and our families to get together and sing and act and be part of a really fun and great organization. They need help and we love helping them and hopefully you will too. And if you can't get on the stage and sing, you can certainly support by becoming a member, going to the performances, or just volunteering. My name is Sue Scott, and I am the secretary on the board of directors here at Footlighters Theatre. And my name is Bill Gilbertson. I am the treasurer here at Footlighters Theatre. Footlighters Theatre is the oldest community theatre on the main line. Footlighters was actually founded in 1926 by the principal of Radnor High School. He decided that he wanted to put together what he called a little theatre group, which he did, and they performed out of the Saturday Club in Wayne for many years. When they outgrew that space, they found that the building that we're sitting in right now was available. Our goal here is to present productions that the community will enjoy. We like to do productions in new, innovative ways and also in traditional ways. Ways that make people say, I never thought of the show being done like that, and other ways that make you say, this is how it should be done. Every season we try to include both plays and musicals. Musicals are always fun. They're my particular passion because my family is all about you know, singing and dancing and that's how I got here. They're always, you know, they're fun and memorable and they have big casts. So those are always great because we have lots of people in the building, both on the stage and a lot of uh, patrons. Our main goal in this is to create a, a full, cohesive season. So we bring some traditional shows, shows like Gypsy, Grease, Hello Dolly, and then bring in more contemporary shows, Avenue Q, Spring Awakening, etc. There's been recent shows we have done. We also try to bring in plays that are dramas. We did The Bad Seed recently. We've also done other comedies like Moon Over Buffalo and upcoming Meteor Shower. We also try to incorporate at least one show that's kind of kid heavy. Doing community theater is an experience for kids that they will not get anywhere else. It is not at all like doing a play at school. We also try to do a show a year that involves a lot of community involvement and stuff. And Sue has spearheaded this Broadway and Berwyn series we've done every year, which brings people to sing their favorite hits. What have they seen on the show? What have they always wanted to sing? Appropriate, not appropriate, doesn't matter. Let's, let's put it on there and see what people enjoy. We are entirely dependent upon our friends and family in the neighborhood because we are a nonprofit and we are completely and totally volunteer. Ida has been monumental in helping us. I don't think we could have done any of this. From simple things, just like I would never have known how to get a tree service to, to look at these things or what part of the roof we needed to actually look at, at that would be appropriate for the insurance company or where we could skip something and go a different route and it would, it would take two steps out of the way. We would never have thought of any of these things. Since we partnered up with Ida, which has been an absolute godsend to us, cannot tell you how grateful we are, we have been spending the last year, since we have had no shows, we've been spending the year working on the theater. It is a beautiful, beautiful building and we are so happy that it is pretty much as it was back in the day. And now even more so because we have been working with Ida and so many of their local partners to refurbish the theater. So we are very excited about coming back and opening up to the public so they can come in and see all the hard work that we've done and just give us even more oohs and ahs over this great building than we normally get. How can you help? There's a lot of ways. The easiest way is to come see a show and then tell everybody that you know to come see the show and then come see one after that and one after that. You can also volunteer to work on a show. We have people who come and just build sets, people who like to do carpentry work. We have people who will come and help clean up outside who like to do gardening. We need people to run lights, to run sound, to be stage managers, to, to change things on set. There's, there is something here for everyone to do. It takes so many hands to put a show together, far more than what you will typically see on the stage.